I've worked on the history of technology before, but this was a whole new world that opened up. And I love that part. I love the fact that it brought me into all these different areas. And uh, frankly, I started getting worried about the way I saw these technologies developing. And if I drew sort of dotted lines into the future, I could, I could see very exciting possibilities, but I could also see very frightening possibilities coming down the line. And I, I started saying, what kind of world are my kids going to grow up in? I have this chapter in the book uh, the, the, where I talk about something called the Jetsons fallacy, which is that a lot of our science fiction films tend to imagine a future when they're thinking of the year 2100 or 2200 or 2300. Um, they're populating that future with humans who look and act and think and feel still very much as we do today. And what's changed, according, what's futuristic, is the technology around us. The things, the gadgets we use, the with, you know, transportation and all that. And one of the realizations that came to me early on in this project was that is a fallacy. Because uh, we're going to start applying as our knowledge deepens, our scientific knowledge, our engineering knowledge, our medical knowledge, as, that, as all those areas deepen and start to come together, we're going to start applying the, this knowledge to changing our own bodies and our own minds. Um, so what the, will the people look like? They're going to look as different from each other as the people today look, and maybe in some ways even more different from each other, because they'll have a smorgasbord of, of, of ways to change themselves. My main recommendation in the book is go slow. Uh, it's sort of, that, if that's one thing that I would like people to take away from reading my book, and I, I'm very clear about that in the concluding chapter, it's let's, the, the tendency is going to be to want to go faster, 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 and because we're looking at everyone around us and they're moving faster and they're moving faster, so I have to move fast as well to keep up, that is going to be a hard pressure to resist. But if we don't if we don't try to put the brakes on, I think that this could easily sort of skid out of control. We'll end up having societal effects, levels at, effects at the level of the society as a whole that, are, that could be disastrous. We need to, you think of all the other major transitions that we've gone through, the Industrial Revolution in the early 1800s or earlier on, the transition from hunter-gathering to agriculture, those you know, were experienced over centuries. And so people's values and culture and ways of seeing themselves and their place in the world and relation to each other, all that changed gradually and adapted. But if this happens over the space of three or four decades and is as, you know, as rapid and accelerating as it seems to be, um, I worry that some of the stresses on our society could actually tear our social fabric apart.